Hi guys, it's Heather with Simply Real Life. I am back in the kitchen today and I'm going to be using my KitchenAid mixer that um, came with an ice cream bowl attachment to make some homemade ice cream. So I will get started and show you what I'm going to do. Don't forget to hit the like button if this video it interests you and also subscribe to my channel for future content. Okay, first thing we had to do with the KitchenAid is it comes with this bowl and it tells you you need to chill it for at least 15 hours. So if you clean it out, I would suggest just leaving it in your freezer if you have a spot for that. And this piece up here just pops on over the spring, depending on what model you have, it might be slightly different. But And then we're gonna use this ice cream paddle to churn. But first of all, we're gonna mix it up in this bowl and so I am using this recipe for just a simple vanilla ice cream. Calls for whipping cream, milk, sugar, vanilla, and some sea salt. Okay, first up we are going to be measuring the whipping cream and milk. And so I'm gonna double this recipe. This only makes six servings, which is not that much. So um, I believe the ice cream bowl can handle about two quarts of ice cream, which is eight cups. So we're doubling this. So we're doing the whipped cream, which these are 16 ounces. So I need two of these. And then to that, we are gonna add two cups of regular whole milk. So it calls for three fourths cup sugar. So I'll measure in a cup and a half to double. And then just kind of whisk that in until the sugar dissolves. And of course, the most important part, we are gonna use two tea, excuse me, two tablespoons of vanilla, so it's got a great vanilla flavor. And then lastly, calls for a pinch of sea salt. all that is good and mixed the sugar is dissolved and then we will add it to our attachment ice cream mixer
right, this has been churning for about 25 minutes and we are gonna turn it off and put it into a freezer safe container and then it's gotta freeze for at least four hours. You can freeze it overnight and it's now the consistency of a soft, really soft, soft serve ice cream. Kind of messy. But it does taste really good. All right. So we are going to pour this in here. Now then I will show you what it looks like when we get it out of the freezer in a couple of hours, but so far I'm so good. All right, here it is out of the freezer. It's been in there for several hours. I'm gonna scoop it out. Well, maybe I am one hand. Okay, we're gonna have a bowl of ice cream. Enjoy.